All right, I'm gonna be honest for a second. TV streaming device teardowns can be a little bit boring because usually all that's going on inside is a board in a box with a few soldered components. But the Apple TV 4K is way more expensive than a lot of the other streaming devices out there. So maybe there's some buried treasure inside or something else special going on, but I'm gonna tear it down and find out. So while there's no glue holding the new Apple TV together, the clips that it's using are putting up quite a fight. Even my soft nylon spudger is damaging the plastic of the base, but thankfully it's on the bottom and nobody will see it. Uh, with it open though, we do see the start of a pretty cool new thermal assembly. This Voltron of a thermal assembly suggests that 4K HDR compatibility probably comes with a significant increase in thermal output. The fan is attached to a heatsink EMI shield that resembles the one found in the fourth generation Apple TV, and the fan is removable, which is good news for consumers because a dead fan doesn't necessarily mean a dead device. The logic board is the next layer of this sandwich, and it's also easy to remove. On board, you'll find the 64-bit A10X processor and three gigabytes of SK Hynix made RAM. The full chip ID is over on the teardown, so be sure to check it out. There's another massive heatsink to remove on which is a pair of presumed power posts from the body. During the Apple TV fourth generation teardown, we suspected that power was transmitted to the logic board via heatsink screw posts, and it looks like this is still the case with the Apple TV 4K. Last out is the new power supply rated for 12 volts at 1.083 amps. This is a modest bump up from the 0.917 amp power supply in the Apple TV fourth generation. Turns out the new Apple TV has more to offer than just a board in a box, but just like the fourth generation, the Apple TV 4K scored an eight out of 10 for repairability, and here's why. Plastic clips hold the case together for easy opening. Modular components make for easy disassembly and repair. The power supply is modular and features a removable AC in jack. Standard torque screws hold everything together. And the negatives, all major components are soldered to the logic board, meaning fixing any port problems will require board level soldering or a full board replacement. That's all for this teardown, but we have more teardowns coming your way with the iPhone 10 and the Google Pixel, so be sure to click that subscribe button, follow us on Twitter at iFixit, and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash iFixit. I'll see you next time.